Well, Jed, your first home win as manager, you must be delighted. I am. It's great to get, to get the win and obviously in front of our own fans and uh, get it, keep us on this little run that we're on at the minute. How do you feel at the minute? I always keep saying buzzing. My missus always says, don't say buzzing. No, I'm really, really happy, to be honest. Uh, I'm, I'm made up the way the lads played today. The way we created so many chances in the game. We could have went on to win four or five today quite easily. We scored a goal again, same as last week. We've looked at it, it was onside. I just don't know the, the lines we can get it wrong because he put his flag up. As soon as, as soon as the ball was struck, he put his flag up. So I'm thinking, must be offside. I had to look at it and he's a yard or two onside. It's just, it's not good enough. On the positive side, the goal that won the game in the fourth minute, what a goal it was. How how well it was worked down that right-hand side. We worked on that all week, to be fair. Fitz, he's had them uh, attacking them. We knew that was their weakness, getting getting on the flanks at them. And we, and we did, and it, it came off. And it nearly came off again with Charlie Brown two minutes later. But he cuts inside, and obviously the keeper made a very good save on him. Jed Garner, he's third in two to, to get the win. He could have had a couple more as well. Yeah, everyone's saying he should have scored that one at the end. He'd done everything right, to be honest. Just hit the bobble. He actually sent the keeper the wrong way, so we would have had this happen into his net, but it happens. But as long as he keeps getting the positions and we're creating chances, that's the main thing. One thing that must have pleased you was that was a very different game to the win at Crawley last week because they played football today, sort of bottom of the league, but they, they worked really hard. They made it hard for you as well, and you had to show some fighting spirit. Definitely, when he was before the game we said it's going to be a really really tough game and if we're not on top of our game we'll get turned over like we did against Colchester but we were we turned up well we were picking up a lot of second balls we knew that the first the first balls they'd win most of them it was all about where the ball landed and where, if we were on top of it and we was it's, I thought Stokes seemed to do that really well with the height there at the front and we, we picked, jumped up with the big man and just kept up the, the second balls and got us playing again and Sometimes when you score early like you did today that sometimes makes it harder for you, doesn't it? Because it sort of wounds them to get back into it quickly. It does, yeah. But saying that, the longer the game goes on, they're going to have to start taking chances to try and get back in the game. And obviously that's when we're really at our best when we counter attack team to catch them on the break. And it nearly worked a few times, second half. Up to 43 points now. You've got a game on Tuesday against Tranmere, your old stomping ground. As we said last week, the game against Walsall's called off. A win there and you're right up there. Yeah, definitely. We've looked at the fixes over the last, over the next couple of weeks, and we've said we've got a run together here. We're not, we're, no one's really noticed us at the minute, so we're just climbing nicely. And hopefully, we can get a few wins and put us right in the playoff positions. At this stage of the season, there is always a team that climbs, a team that always falls. At the minute, you're the, one of the climbing teams, as you just said there. Nobody's really noticing. Is that is that good for you? You like that? Yeah, no one's really talking about your Addy. So. When there's no the spotlight on you, you seem to just get get on with things, and obviously that's what we're doing. Good win last week, good win today. As you say, um, Tramia Tuesday. Hopefully, go there and get a win as well. How much are you looking forward to that one at Tramia? I can't wait to be honest. Obviously, since it's over, it's the one I've been looking forward to the most. Obviously, I've done ten years there, so it'd be nice to go back and see what see what this, how much stick I get off the fans. <laughs> and three points there, as you say, forty three. If you got to forty six, you know, you're definitely safe. It's onwards, upwards. Well, I'd say we're definitely safe. I'm, I'm not like that. I'd say we get three more points and we've got a good chance of being safe then. So that's when we can look up and start pushing up for the table. Obviously, I'm not being negative. I'm just being looking at the maths and if, they, if the two bottom teams put a big run together, they'll, they'll, they'll put us under pressure. But if we can get another win, I'm sure we'll be safe with that. No Farron Rawson say was he injured? Yeah, he was injured. And to be fair, he's been sick as well. He's been off the last few days sick with a, with a little bug. So... Yeah, we'll, we'll miss him. He's a top player for us. But the lads who come in today, Stokes, he was outstanding today. He used his experience well. Come out of, got the ball off the goalkeeper a lot, got us playing. So it's a squad game at the minute. The lads know we're going to need everyone to be pumping the next few weeks because it's Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. So the lads who are coming in are doing really, really well, especially the long lads as well, the young lads. That was an eye up for them today. They've only played in games like that before. So uh, I said to Julian, <laughs> I said, welcome to, welcome to playing against team like something, mate. And he just, Rolled his eyes at me, so uh, it's a big learning curve for him today. Joe Adams got the man of the match today, talking of lone players who've come in, the youngsters. Not everything went his way today, but he kept going and he created two or three good chances for others. And just His persistence is really admirable. That's what he do, he doesn't stop. He, it just, his fitness is frightening. He, he was just all over the pitch and as you say, sometimes he, he got caught on the ball a few times, but I'd say second half especially, I think there's four chances he catered for us and he nearly got goals out of it. And as I say, Complain about that goal that was offside. He set that up and great bit of skill by him, something brilliant. And yeah. also, it was great to see the academy there today, all our academy kids. And it was brilliant. So, hopefully, they can keep coming every week if we win. <laughs> Jed, a great win saying onwards and upwards to Tuesday. Thank you. How much of the was it planned on your mind, or how, how relieved are you that you finally got your first home win? 
obviously, I, I've been saying it's not bothering me, but really deep down, it, it, it was. And obviously, you need to get a win at, at home in front of the home fans. And and then we can move on from there. Now it's gone, we can move on. And the pressure will be off at home now. So you don't need to be looking to get the, the three points. And we saw you setting the cones out and taking the pre match warm up today. Any idea what might be happening in terms of the backroom positions? Well, uh, not really, not at the minute. It won't be until next season, I don't think. So we'll just have to all muck in together and, and get on with it, which we have done today. You know, you're not you're not afraid to get your hands dirty, so you, you're going to be doing that again quite a bit then? Yeah, I don't mind. I, I actually like doing a warm, but it gets me out of the office because when I'm in the office, I'm nervous wreck. So at least I don't have to think about things when I'm on the pitch. It's, it's all about the lads getting them warm. So I'd sit there all day, don't the way I feel in that office, I'll tell you. Get money for your old phone, Mazuma Mobile.com.